of that. It didn't seem suspicious this time. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Nobody wa tachi agate. Tsue o tori. Tsuba no hiroi. Oshi o kabute. Veneto ni koe o kaketa. Nobody came to a stop. Tachi agate. That's Tachi oh, no. Domate. Stand up. Hi, hi, hi. He, he, he stood up. The the the, the well, hard thing is that we were I jumping between two different timelines. In chapter three, currently we're in a diner, and nobody was sitting at the dining room table drinking some tea. Main character Khan has been eating muffins. It's some very gross competitions like pickles with jam. I, so he 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 stand up. He stood up, right? And I he have. grabs his cane. And Tsubano Hiroiboshi o Kabute, he put on the hat with a Y Suba, with a Y brim. Hi. Veneto ni koe o kaketa. He, he called, he called Benet with a loud voice. Basically, I I translate ka yes, koe o kaketa as a call out. It basically means you use your voice to start something with somebody. So, koyo kakere means to call out to. I say in English, we need the out with that. And it's not just calling, it's kind of, it's it, hi. a little, hi. Um, kanji check. Remember how to read this word? What's it? Uh, it does Nimotsu. end with hi nimotsu. Perfect. Do you recognize how this kanji is read? What's this verb? Motsu. Hi, motsu. Do you know how to put motsu into causative form? Motsu. Most. So you put like a glottal stop in there. I think about what you said, like most would be like that, which is sadly not right. There's no um glottal stop in here. So um sadedu. So causative form and um passive form are mainly different in the center area. With causative form having a set here and passive form having a de. If this was a do verb like taberu, this would be tabe saseru. The sa right there. However, motsu is a u verb, and u verbs are conjugated a little bit differently. What what do you think we're going to be conjugating this guy as? So it's going to end with seru. And start with a mo. What do you think is going to go over here? What if it was passive form? What would we do then? I don't know. Well, what does this start with? What sound does this start with? We know it's ending with an oo sound. What does that hiragana character oh, start with? It has to be ta. Sa, so, so. Sa, su, su, it's ta. Sa. T. It has to be sa. Nope, it's t. T starts with a t sound. T. That's why we say ta. T. 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 These all start with the phoneme, the t. The allophones are t, can be a hard t. Or a um, CHT or a TS. These are all ways T is pronounced in Japanese. For example, if we were talking in um, 
Amer most American English is, if we say the word water, like as I was reading it, I said it with a T, but most people would probably say water with a tap R sound. So this tap R sound and T, like I think there's like officially like three versions of T, but most of most English speakers can hear this. Uh, the difference between these two we can't really hear other than being like, huh, sounds like they have an accent and get confused. Um, but anyway, these are all the same sound in English, which is T. They're all under the idea of what T is in our brains, but it's pronounced differently depending on the context. And that's basically what's happening in Japanese. They can recognize that water is, it doesn't actually have a T sound in there once you point it out to them, but it is actually, it's under this branch category. It's spelling with a T to insinuate a T sound, water, water, well, same word. So we, it's kind of like how TH, we have a version with voicing and a version without. They're both the same TH, but it'll start sounding weird if you use the wrong one. But they're all under the th versus the. The has the vibrating and thou, the, there, there and the, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know the THs very well. But that that's the idea of that. So that's why a lot of times when you learn Japanese, you'll learn it like alphabetically with ta, ti, tu, te, to, because these are all spelled with a T and then one vowel sound. So TA is ta, TI is chi rather than T. And um T U is T. So the extra sounds here are just are for prettiness versus actually being um different sounds. So that's why when we do conjugation here, we're just left with the T when we take out the U. Um, so that's why it becomes ta. So, um, mo ta deru is carry to be carried. Mo ta deru. So what would be the causative form? So to make someone carry. Mo ta seru. Hi, mo ta seru. Perfect. Okay, so we have Nebody talking. So let's go see what read what Nebody said. Hi. Gozo ni mo boshi ni mo tsuho motasete suite koi. You as well, boy. Um, take take the the small luggage. So squishy. Bring it. Isn't it's kind of small, but it's different than chisai, right? Do you know how it's different than chisai? Squishy. Small as in physically. The volume of it is small. So that'd be T size. As opposed to a, a tiny amount. Hi, hi, hi. Exactly. So a small amount. Perfect. So some of the luggage is so, probably how I would translate it in this context. We don't a little bit, right? Maybe a little bit of. Goshi, take the little bit of luggage with you. Um, take them. Uh, bring them and come here. Suite and, and koi. Suite koi. So tuite, the, the come here is in the koi, and that's correct. Suite though means come with me. So he's saying, um, make the boy carry some of the language as well and come with me. Is uh, what he's saying. Poor boy, he was going to eat another muffin. Right. Um, Can you read this word for right. me? Um, he, tsukamu. Hi, tsukamu. So tsukamu is to grab and he is to pull, a lot of times pulling toward you. So to pull and grab in Japanese is to snatch at or just really to grab. Because tsukamu is actually to hold. So holding plus pulling is to grab, to snatch at. He, he tsukamu. Um, do you remember how to read this guy? You remembered him earlier, so I'm sure you do, but always good to check. 
Nu ri. Hi, hi, hi. Nu. Um, so he scammed, which was to grasp at, to grab. How would you put this into stem form? You remember what that means? Hey. Stem form is basically the must form without the must. So, so. The he to come. Me. He to come me. Hi, perfect. Hi. Theoretically, um, must form is actually stem form plus must. But a lot of times when you're taught it, it's the reverse I... way, simply because it's easier if you're teaching people must form as like the dictionary form of the verb. So that's kind of like how Genki and stuff will teach um, it. So it's just easier to kind of teach it that way. Well, stem form is actually like the root form of the verb, which is like, um, it's like a form of the verb that doesn't have anything extra added to it, except for what is needed in order to write it into Japanese, which is adding an E sound to the end of uh, certain verbs or dropping the drew in its entirety. So it's just kind of interesting because we are all taught it's minus mas, but theoretically mas is actually stem form plus mas because stem form is used for so many things. You know, it's like, imagine if you're a learn that te form I... is minus edu. <laughs> <laughs> Can you like imagine that? Because that, that's what they're doing. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, Tefar, just take that edu and delete it. <laughs> but, but it makes sense to do it when you're teaching it that way. But it's just like really funny when you think about it. <laughs> um I uh, just sorry about that <laughs> Um, do you know how to read this kanji? I it's uh Chikazuki. Yep, Chikazuki from Chikazuki. Do you know what this means? It's a verb. Hi, hi, hi. It is a verb. That was turned into the stem form. Hi, hi. Uh, to mean get close to. Hi, hi, hi. To get close to. Perfect. Do something else. True, true, true. Um, This was a sentence from a while ago. I'm also just checking if you recognize that guy. This was a practice sentence, and I just thought it would be easier than doing the sentence from the book. Hi, it's uke, uketa. Hi, uketa, which is to receive. Perfect. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? See if you remember this guy. Um, kobun. Hi. Kobun wa often. Kobun meaning. Uh, my portion. That's a good guess. No, Kobun no, no. means minion. It means a small minion. Hi. I can see why, because it's child and then part. So you're like, portion, that makes sense, but it's minion. <laughs> Hi. So he, he, um, the minion, uh, muffin or is sukam, sukanda. The minion snatches the muffin. Perfect. And do you remember how to read this guy in the bold? Mimotsu. Hi, Mimotsu. Perfect. And how about the volational form of to receive? Volational. Ukero. So, ukero. Would be the volational form of this if this was a u verb. Sadly, ukeru is a u verb, like ukemas, rather than ukerimas. Right? Ukerimas sounds weird, so it's ukemas. Um, uketa to you. So it's a do verb. Do you have a second guess what it could be? So it's ukeyo. Hi, ukeyo. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna skip that. And I will skip that. So let's go read the line from the book. Ore wa bata o nutta muffin o itsukami. Benetto kara nimotsu o uketo ro to chikatsuita. Um, I, uh, mm, 
I I uh, Hitsukani meaning just did this one now. I forget again. Mm-hmm. Um, so tsukame is to close your fist on something, and he is to pull. So Hitsukami. I'm Hitsukami. Cool. Snatch. Hi. I snatch the muffin. Uh, that have the butter spread on it. Hi. Sadly, no pickles. Um, Sorry, as an And the nebri ne ne benet 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 kara. Um. Okay, uke toro, uke, nen toro to chikatsuita. I get close after I. Yeah. I, I'm sorry about this right here as um a conjugation thing. This is um uke te oko um from oku, right? That means to do something in advance or I should do something. So I should ukeru. Um and a slurring has gone on here with ten o turned into to. So uke toro. Wait, where's the roll part though? Uke... Oh, it's uke toru, toru, to take. <laughs> and then the the do were there from torimas, right? To take became total. Sorry, sorry. Too, too many conjugations. So much easier when they have kanji, because then you're like, ah, oh, yeah, uke toru, right? To take. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi. I should have had that. Um. Build it up, but I kind of was not really like looking at it closer. <laughs> I was like, okay, yo. Oh. But you're right, it is toru right. to take, but uke toru is to take, to meaning like to take on, to receive something, to accept something you received. I take the luggage from the net. So, so. But then I get close. Close. So he doesn't actually take the luggage yet. So he's kikazukuing toward Bennett. So I get closer. So specifically it's saying I'm going to, right? Because relational form is basically I'm going to form. The let's. That's how it's officially taught. So I'm mm. going to take the luggage from the let. And so I get close to him. So the toe is kind of like, and so it's like the, because I'm going to do this, I'm doing to do that. Because it's the cause and factor. So if I'm go, so I just have to say if in English for this, but like when you're going to take luggage from Bennett, you have to get close to Bennett, right? <laughs> you can't take the luggage from him if you're not close to him. Right. So that's why the toe is in there. It's the this event happened and then this event, but the first event is deciding to go to take the luggage. Um, right. Khan's a good boy. The first event, it's it's an inner. Yes. First event happened in his mind. Exactly. It doesn't happen in reality yet. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Um. So dosato is with a thud. So this is a sound effect. It's a to. Um. Fukushi. Dosa. Do you know how to read this kanji? Dosato meaning with a thud. thud. With a thud, like something. F- Fell down with a thud. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Um, this is putatsu. Two hi. item, two pieces, two things. Perfect. And do you know how to read this verb? Oh, och, och. Fall down, right? O, yep. Ochito. So, ochiru. Ochito ochi, o, ochiru. Has chi. After the part, the kanji. So the kanji is o. Ochiru is to fall. Like, ah, I'm falling. Ochita. Ah. So this one here, it says otosu. So these are related. If ochiru is I'm falling, what far, What do you think otosu means? I dropped something out. Yes, right? exactly. Because to drop something. I, I, something right. else fall because of me. So, so. Something right. is fallen. Perfect. So mm-hmm. let's go read the example sentence. Benetto wa um, nani mo iwazu. 
It was a here is from you, right? はい。Say nothing. そうそう。Without saying anything. 俺の目の前にどさっと with a thud. カバン is a, is a bag. Is a,、um, is a purse of a sword.、Mm-hmm. カバンを二つ落と,落とすと、うん、落とすと、眠りについて、部屋を出ていた。Okay, so in front of my eyes,、uh, he, oh my goodness. He otosu. The netto dropped. He dropped,、Hi. he dropped two of, he dropped two bags in front of me、Hi. with a thud. Hi, 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 hi. And then, nebori ni suite, meaning with regard to nebori. Mm, that's close. Um, It's something else. I can't remember the top of my head. Not <laughs> toste.、Uh, but tsuite right here is to go along with. So going with nebody. Going with nebody. Heyo o dete da. I went out of the room. We went out of the room. Right. I think you're looking for ni tote. I'm guessing. Ni tote. Yeah, perfect. Yes. He, let, he went out of the room, away from me. Yep. So you know we're going out、Ni、of the room. Tsuite is something、old. else. Hi. Ni tsuite comes from tsuku, or tsuiteru, like to go with somebody, like to accompany somebody, which is confusing because it looks a lot、Hi. like tsuku to attach. But theoretically, I do think they have different kanji. I think.、Um, not that we see kanji a lot for the second, for either of these in this book. But yeah, this right here is to go along with Nebody. So he's walking with Nebody, in other words. So we saw this、er- like、many times in this book. We see this tuku. The ni is just here because of this is who he's going along with. Nebody ni t u i t e So that's his destination. He's going with Nebody. Just like o is saying, we're going through the room, out of the room.、Um... Do you know what dutu means? Like, skoshi dutu. Skoshi, a little bit. A few. Zutsu. Zutsu ete kita ga. Zutsu, I don't know. Hi.、Uh, before we do so, I'm actually going to go back. And apparently, tsuiteru to accompany with is actually the attached kanji. I didn't know that. So. It's like you're attaching yourself. That's not as a kanji looks like. <laughs> you're attaching yourself to nebody, basically.、Um, anyway, zutsu is a word that kind of means a piece. So, skoshi zutsu is a little bit at a time. Like piece by piece is、uh, what zutsu means. So, right here it says、um, the time passed a little bit at a time. Skoshi zutsu.、Um, Do you know how to read this word? So it's hete kita. Hi. Hi.、Um, um, this is from, this is the past. One hand. This is the time is past, and that is to cross. Nagaden ni watate, skoshi jutsu hete kita ga, saiki ni natte. Or sorry, this is heru to go down. So it's saying it's going down a little bit at a time as the years pass. Uh, lately,、um, it seems like it has、uh, decreased dramatically lately. So before it was like this,、Hi. but now it's like that. Sorry.、Uh, it's, it's hard because I'm、um, tatsu. I was thinking tatsu. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So it's decreasing a little, by a little bit,、Hi. by a little bit. So skoshi is small, and then jutsu is a piece. So each piece is small. Um, I, do you know what this word is? Let's start with kata.、Um, kata te. Hi, kata te. What does that mean? One hand. Perfect.、Um, so, this word right here, hitotsuzutsu, 
means one at a time. Totsuzutsu. So we got a piece, one piece. So it te zutsu tends to show up when you're one at a time. having multiple things. So even though it has one in there, it just means one at a time. Totsuzutsu. Um, so right. here, rather than at a time, I guess it's more like the piece meaning of it. So uh, it'll make sense when you read the context. Right, so it's kaban wa futatsu, atate ni itotsu zusu, matsu, ikanai. De oto wa mafe no matte nai ja nai ka motte nai. Motte nai ja nai ka. Right. So how many hands does Khan have? You have one hand here, so it's katate ni hitotsu tsuzu. So in the context, he's talking about one hand and that he, um, nai. Hitotsu tsuzu, one at a time. Yep. In uh, one hand. Motsu shikanai. And this shikanai is um, shika only, nine right. not. So except for holding so he, the only thing one piece per kata hand, nine. So in this case, I guess you could say impossible as a translation. It's not possible to hold more than one piece at a time. Yes, per hand. More than one piece per hand. Because in one hand, can only heard, hold one piece of luggage. Katate ni hitotsu zutsu motsu shikanai. So it is not as possible except for holding one piece in one hand. How many kabans are there? Utatsu. There are two. There's two bags. Could he hold both bags in one hand? No, he cannot. Yes, he, he cannot, exactly. So, so he's translating this. I, in yeah. other words, he's saying, I have to hold each bag in one hand. And I only have two hands and there's two bags. So his translation of the sentence is, Tikoto wa mafuro motte nai ja nai ka. Tikoto wa, from that, from that koto, muffin o motte nai. Janaika. So he asked himself a question. That means he's saying, I cannot hold the muffin. Right. Isn't it? That's what he said. He asked yeah. himself, I can no longer hold the muffin. Right. Why can't he no longer hold the muffin? Um, because of the te koto, the koto of the of the fact that he can only hold one bag with one hand uh -huh. and there are two bags and he only has two hands and here this janai is dewanai yes this janai is dewanai yes meaning it's a negation form of the da of, of this right. right so it's it is not he say i cannot mot that right. i cannot hold Yep. So in other words, I can't hold a muffin, can't I? Oh no! Each hand has a bag in it. No I hand for the muffin. The muffin. Perfect. Hey, just put it in his mouth and hold it with his teeth. Hey, exactly. <laughs> that's probably what he's going to do. He, he's pretty <laughs> smart. He can figure it out. But that that's his thought process. Oh my goodness, two bags! I can only hold one hand per... Ah! Put the pop in. Um, uh, I could just gobble it up anyway. Um, anyway, this is where we're going to stop for the day. So I'll stop our recording.